mine shall be the beginning of your unending laughter. Let's go back to chapter 32 of the book of Genesis. Let's take verse 27. All of them tell them to sleep. Say it with great authority, but be gentle. Just say to them, sleep, they will obey you. Whisper it to their ears. Just say, sleep. Young man, allow God to complete what he has begun to do. Come, if he will not obey, carry him out. We don't have time for drama. Let's go back and, to 27. And he said unto him, And he said unto him, What is thy name? What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Uh, do I have anybody tonight who would like to come to a place where people will know you, not by your problems, but by God's multiplied blessings upon your life? It's amazing how the God pronouncement can change your status. God's pronouncement can change your status. Read on, sir. As a prince, what do you have? Israel, for as a prince has thou power then, with then, God. Uh, uh, Jacob suddenly became a prince. Hear me. Not everybody writes to the governor to see him. <laughs> there are people if you tell the governor you want to see he will say no don't come to my house I'll come to your house there are people their appearance will introduce them to any crowd around them when Abonini was the governor of Crossing the State I went to see him he said this he asked me who are you I said I'm a preacher he asked me, preacher, I said, yeah, he, 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 he expressed surprise that the preacher could come looking for the governor. He said, sir, you can't see him. Your name is not on our shadow. I said to him, that was when God so blessed us. Uh, an organization in America gave me drugs worth 50 million a year for many years. So I was giving all the Eastern State uh, government drugs worth 10, 10 million a year. I had not given Cross River State their own, and I was going to hand over their own to the governor. The governor knew I was coming, but his ADC did not know I was coming. The ADC said to him, hey, my friend, we don't do business with preachers here. Can you leave? As I was going out, of the premises. He ran back. But the governor now said to him, if you don't bring that man, regard yourself as having lost your job. We're looking for him. I want you to come to a place where your presence shall command attention. Is it possible? One more time. Is it possible? <laughs> the young man came and blocked my way, said to me, if you will not go back with me to see the governor, let this your car crush me to death. Uh, what happened? Between uh, the time I saw you and now, what happened, sir? He said, I, said, I didn't know you. I didn't know you are a woman. The governor wants me to bring you all. I'll lose my job. And I just married last week. Don't let that happen to me, please. <laughs> I was so amused. Right where you are this night, I want to make a prophetic announcement that in, in 12 months' time, you'll be promoted to a place that commands power. You know, the funny thing is, I don't even know why I said what I just said now. <laughs> But he that is behind what I'm saying tonight has a plan for you. Yeah. 
you, I want to declare you a prince. Yes. Sit down. Read on, sir. For as a prince has thou power with God. I don't, I, the, the greatest thing under the sun is to have power with God. There are people who have power with God. When I quarrel with your one-time president, and he threatened to lock me up because I called him a thief, <laughs> I said to him, Your Excellency, you don't have to worry about uh, arresting me. Because in four days' time, they will arrest you and lock you up, lock you away. All that shall plan against me shall come on you. That night, I was on my way to Hong Kong, so I flew out of the country. My friends called me and said, don't come back to Nigeria. <laughs> you have been declared a wealthy man. One of my friends said, this is your man to put you in trouble one day. And I wanted mine. I said, not to worry. The man that wants me locked up and locked away and chained shall in four days' time be chained. The rest is history. I won't tell you again about it. There are, there are levels God can take you to. There's a place God can position you. There's an anointing God can give to you. There's a gift God can give to you. There is an empowerment God can give to you. And your story will change. By my spoken word tonight, your level must change. Yeah. And he said to him, you are now a prince. Read on, sir. And you have power with God. And with men. And with men. And it's, has... it's, it's amazing that there are people who have power with God. When people say, Buying a car shows you anointing. I love. No, anointing is known by your ability to compel God to do what he does not want to do. That's how we know you are anointed. Because armed robbers can buy cars. <laughs> a, friend, a son of mine <laughs> drove into my compound driving V boot and Volvo. He said, Sir, I have joined. The, the class of first class pastors. I, I now have two vehicles. I am now among the first class preachers. So I gave him money for fuel and asked me, can you follow me to my backyard? We got there. He saw 18 jeeps. He asked me, what are they, where are your visitors? With visitors. Who are the owners of these cars? My friend, stop. I won't, I won't answer that question. Can you go, go back through this, this door? Anointing is the ability to compel God to do what he does not want to do. The Bible says here, Jacob had power with God and with men. And I want you to hear me. That vacancy is still there. There are men that God is recruiting who have power with him and power with men. Do I have any contestants? Anybody who is interested? Are you sure? Let's run down to the book of Philippians chapter 2. We'll take verse 10 and 11 and then we we'll take chapter 10, verse 18 of the book of Proverbs. Let's combine the two. That in the name of Jesus, every, every knee. knee should bow. Every, oh. we, have, we have been given the power to use this name of Jesus. And the Bible now says, when we invoke this name, even our enemies shall bow before him. Go to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18. What does it say? Death and life. No, no, no. 
Sorry, what did I say? 8 verse 10. I mean 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The, can all of us repeat that line? Everybody say it. The name of the Lord is a strong the righteous run it into it. The and righteous is safe. run it into it, and his what? Say, wow. We were driving from Yenogoa to Portacot one night, and ASP, who had raised a roadblock, said to my chief driver, "Can you tell Oga to go back to Yenogoa? Arm robbers are everywhere." My chief driver said to him, sir, when we travel, we don't see armed robbers, they don't see us. He asked me, slapped my chief driver. I came out of my car, walked over to him and said, oh God, this man is speaking out of experience. When we travel, we don't see armed robbers, they don't see us. We shall continue to put our cut. And every armed robber that has raised a roadblock shall remove the roadblock for us. The ASP said, Reverend, if you die, your blood will be on your head. Oh God, what if I don't die? What will happen? We got to Portacourt, we saw no arm robber. This night, right where you are, God has given you weapons of warfare. But they are not carnal weapons. They are not weapons of compulsion. They are spiritual weapons. But when you use this weapon, the wall around you will obey you. <laughs> you didn't say the amen where. Yeah. Can we rush to the book of Acts chapter 3? Let's take verse 3, then we we'll take verse 10 through 12. Yes, sir. Who seen Peter and said, and John about to go into temple, asked of an arm. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting yes. to receive something of them. Yes. Then Peter said, Peter Silver, said, and, silver gold have I known, and gold have I not. But such as I have, such as I have, give I thee. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you see what this name of Jesus can do? It gives what I call finishing touch to every problem. It turns, it turns lamentation into laughter. It turns sickness into good health. He said to him, in the name of Jesus, what? Rise up and walk. I don't know if you know, all the name of Jesus will make you a commander of signs and wonders. Beginning tonight, if you are ready to travel along this road, you will become a, a, a commander of signs and wonders. Yeah. We have been called to a life of great responsibility. A life that would demonstrate the power of God in an amazing manner. We were in Oko using helicopter to drop our handbills. Native doctors in Oko got angry with me and said I misled the young man who sponsored that exercise and threatened to deal with me the next day. I'm an old soldier. I'm used to it. I told him I'll respond tomorrow. Uh, let no native doctor show up or else I'll cause trouble for you. This is your juju forest. Shall go up in flames and will burn for 21 days without stopping. I, I, I can recall somebody asked, this man, is he well? <laughs> this man, is he well? Of course I'm well. But I belong to a government that is in heaven. A government of armed angels who can make the impossible possible. Right where you are, for being a born-again child of God, you belong to God's redeemed family. Anybody that plays with you is risking his life. But this God can fight back. And he will fight back. Can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah somebody? The next day we arrived. I, what did I do that night? All I did was sing a simple song all of you can sing. 
A song that says, what's that song again? Do what I am, mama. See, I am a Yes, Jesus. Do what I am, mama. See, And the Juju forest just exploded. Boom! And fire began to come from the top down. <laughs> and it burned for 21 days nonstop. The, the funny thing was we had another program around that area. As we were driving to this other venue, people who knew me were saying, that's the man that caused that trouble. That caused trouble? No. I only demonstrated the power of the government I serve. Government of wonders. Right where you are, you are a candidate of greatness. Yes. Can we run down to the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, we take verse 2, verse 3, verse 4. Yes, sir. Number one, every born again child of God under this roof, you are allowed to operate under the seven spirits of God. It's a great privilege, a great honor. The Bible said in the days of Samson, every time the spirits of God came upon him, he did the impossible. And I want to announce that the God of Samson is in our midst. Say the amen well. Why are we? I know what in trouble, remember. I'm in my yo, mammy. I know what in the Jehovah. I'm in my yo, mammy. I'm in my yo, mammy. I know what in the Jehovah. I'm in my own,
of God ready to inspire you, ready to instruct you, ready to energize you, ready to guarantee your success everywhere you go, ready to make you the commander of your circumstances and the ruler of your enemies. Wow. They went to arrest Elisha and he said to God, can you make them blind? Did God obey? He obeyed. And that same God would obey you when you command on that great anointing. <laughs> we suspend, I suspended a girl, a lady here uh, for committing uh, adultery. She asked me who will enforce this suspension. I'm not a member of your church. I said I know, but you remain barren until you repent. I said it just casually. Ten years after, I was driving out of Obosi. Three cars blocked my way. They said, you made our sister barren and we're going to deal with you this night. Who is your sister? I asked in surprise. They told me her name. Ah, I remember her. She's still barren. They said yes. Boy, oh boy. If you don't move your cars out of my way, I'll use the same mouth to demand three of you be killed. And you'll die here now. They say we didn't come for trouble. Oh, you didn't come for trouble. You came for what? They say we want you to restore our sister to a state of fertility. Oh, 
That's no problem. Take her to our office in Uyo. From the gate, anybody you see that works with me shall have the anointing to restore her back to fruitfulness. That's when anybody, I said anybody, including the gate men, they go to the gate here and said to the workers, we were asked by Oga to bring our sister. Whoever we see here can restore her to a healthy, fruitful life. I hear one of the gate men said to them, I open this gate every day for that man. Every time I lift up this gate, anointing will rest upon me. I will pray, and your sister will have children. <laughs> what an awesome God we serve. You are not sent by God to be part of this gossip and the scandal. You are sent by God to carry his power. The power that will, that will separate you from the crowd. I will make you a choir master. Whoever shall be a choir master must back the crowd. You will back the crowd and do the impossible. You know, the woman, left, she, was, she, she went with them. I don't know what the get man did. Up to that, I don't even know who the get man is. But the woman now has three children. Hey, if my get man can produce that miracle, you can do more. You can do more. You can do more. You can do more. Go on, sir. We have heard of the Spirit of the Lord. What are the other six spirits of the Lord? Yes, sir. The Spirit of Wisdom. God, who, no wise man is a poor man. No wise man has lost his marriage. There's a man who used to be one of us. Uh, he has lost his marriage. Or he has kicked out his wife. And uh, let me stop there. He was, used to be our member. And now he's on the wrong side of the road. This night, there are people who will not leave this building without being touched by God. <laughs> Read on, sir. The spirit and understanding. A man of understanding is a great man. I don't know whether you know, when you talk to your wife, just know that women say what you want to, what they want their husband to, to know and to hear with their mouth. But they speak with their eyes to tell you what they want to say. When you say to your wife, darling, things are hard. I could have gotten you a brand new car. She will reply and say, ah, am I a baby? I understand. No, look into her eyes. She's saying something different from what she said before. She's saying to you, when your mother came here to visit us, you were spending money like water. Now it is my turn to own a car. You will have excuses. God who brought me here will take care of me. Thank you, sir. Women don't speak their mind with their mouth for fear of causing tension in the family. So my brother... When he said to your wife, you are an idiot, read her eyes. She'll keep quiet. She's only quiet on the outside. On the inside, she's saying, your mother is an idiot. All your sisters are all idiots. Every woman from your family is an idiot. I am a witness. But the Bible said, what you sow is what you reap. This night, God will bless you with great understanding of life. Amen. Read on, sir. And the spirit of counsel, what does that mean? This night, this God has promised to be your counselor. And I want you to learn how to consult him to serve as your counselor. He will produce great and amazing results. Read on, sir. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of knowledge of the way this God operates. The spirit of knowledge of what to do to have peace in your family. The spirit of knowledge what to do to have your children obey you and submit to you. Read on, sir. And of the fear of the Lord. Well, the fear of the Lord is a powerful habit. 
I don't know who has a desire tonight to say to God, I don't like where I am. I want to change. Such persons, can you stand up? And as you stand up, let us now say to God, Abawalamaka. Onye wigwe abawalamaka. Ibene chemba abawalamaka. Anomni roke. Onye we no rolo. Abawalamaka. 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 Anomni roke. Onye we no rolo. Bawalamaka, <laughs> Thou art for 
calling Do not pass me by Savior, Savior, Savior Can I come Thou art calling Do not pass me
stand up. Um, let's have helpers to help us. I want seven men and five sisters to stand by. We have a very serious problem. There are 14 members of this fellowship who, as children, were dedicated to idols. Three of them, on their own, went to a native doctor's shrine. And they have an incision showing that they have been dedicated to the God of that altar. As a result, the Holy Spirit cannot have any major breakthrough without waging war against the forces of these altars. Our main meeting, our main prayer for these great miracles will be next week. But this night, I want those 14 persons to be set free and be made free to receive whatever God will do next week. Can I have... They are them. Huh? They are the workers. Are them. Workers who are able-bodied. Who that man, wake him up. Hey, don't kneel down in case you are among those who are looking for. You, stand up. If she had not gone to heaven, work out. Who, those who are helping her, can I see your hand raised up? The funny thing here is, if you're among those who are looking for the power of God, may knock you down. Others will carry you. Put each one on his or her seat. Can you, what are the workers who have volunteered to help us? Raise up your hand, let me see. Count to them, how many are there? There are things we do and they will stop us from moving forward in our walk with God. This night I want every spirit that had taken possession of your life, every spirit that won't let you become what God wants you to be, shall this night be arrested. Yeah. I have no choice but to insist you stand where God will empower you, where God will make you a commander of your circumstances where God will grant you power for mysterious miracles. I'm going to insist that the past must pass away. This night must be your night of new beginning. Can you close, those of you who are going to help us turn and face the crowd. In fact, this should last only for a few minutes. Please don't fight the power of God. Satan does not release a captive without fighting back. And so we're going to have a little war, but it's a war you can, the Spirit of God shall win and you will win also. It's going to be a win win situation. Father, Everyone that the enemy will not allow him or her to become what you want him or her to be. Every, every person that demons quote what happened in time past as a reason why that person must not join the new army. Everyone that the enemy presents what was said in a Native doctor's altar or shrine. All the name showing that this person had been dedicated to idols. That covenant is cancelled. Yeah. It is cancelled. Yeah. Father, I stand as your servant and I declare that it is cancelled. Yeah. The castle of heaven shall back me. Yeah. And those 14 persons shall not go back the same. After this deliverance experience, all these stupid dreams I've been having shall no longer occur to them. And no spirit shall quote what happened in any native doctor's altar. But even if they quote it, it will not be effective. Father, they are 14 in number and I demand the freedom. I demand the freedom. I demand the freedom. Father, I demand the freedom. 
Why? Because they are part of us. They are part of us. And they will be fit to receive what you do next week, Wednesday. But this night, I demand the altar of the enemy. Somebody help. Workers help us. Put each one on his or her seat. Father, on my right hand side, on my left hand side, and in front of me, everyone that labors under this initiation and attack, Everyone that says, God, I want my freedom. Everyone that says, God, I got there without any choice. My parents dedicated me to their idol or to their place of worship. But now I want my freedom. I want to begin afresh and anew. You have heard the cry in their hearts. You know them. You have seen their tears. You have also seen the craving and the longing of the hearts. Wherever they are, let an angel be appointed to stand beside them to break that chain, to break that bondage, to break that connection. Thou power of God! In the name of Jesus! Let your children be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Come, cameraman, come back. How many do we have? Five, sir. Remaining nine. But there are nine more. Any demon contesting their freedom, any demon that says they shall never be set free, I overrule that demon and I demand their freedom. I demand their freedom. I demand their freedom. I demand their freedom. Father, let your power break out and break forth and break through and set them free. Seven, seven whatever the seven are standing, whatever those seven are standing, raise your anointing and let the yoke be broken. Let it 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 be broken. Workers help us. There are so many people. Five more. Father, there are five more. Four more. Four more. Any name holding those four? Any demon holding those four? Any principality holding those four? Shall hold them no more. No more. No more. This is the night of new beginning. And I demand they be set free. Be set free now. Now, how many? Two more. Two more. How many more? Two more. Two more. Father, the enemy has lost the battle. And I still insist that this remaining two persons, how many do we have now? These remaining two persons must now be set free. Yes, Father, they must have the freedom. Yes, and I see they must be given their freedom. Yes, Father, they'll join others to enjoy what to do next week. Meaning what? Let, whoever is that demon standing against 
the deliverance and the healing of this one person, that demon shall now be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. That's number 14. That's number 15. That's 14. That's 15. That's 15. Awesome, God. Give the Lord a good clap of faith. Why don't we say to God, Lord, we love you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Father, everyone within the reach of my voice shall no longer carry the cross of poverty. All those who feel discouraged and unhappy, may that yoke also be broken. <laughs> Father, every sickness that mocks any member of this fellowship, we will now mock that spirit. <laughs> Father, everyone that helps others, but nobody helps him or her, Everyone that serves others, the best way he or she knows how, and the reward is always the opposite. Father, I demand a change this night. Everyone that comes from a family of great limitation, that limitation is now destroyed. Father, there are many who don't know how to enter into your promises. They hear of what you can do. They don't know how to step into it. Their sleep tonight shall be a sleep of change, of refreshing, of repositioning, of new beginning. Finally, everyone who is part of our fellowship, Father, build a wall of protection for him or her. Every plan of the enemy shall come to nothing. Amen. Every voice that speaks against him shall speak no more. Amen. Every plan of the enemy to harm him or, or to limit him shall, shall be cancelled. It's now cancelled. It's now cancelled. Father, wherever your people shall go, let there be a wall of protection and provision. Most importantly, may your children enjoy the sweet fellowship others have with you. May your presence be real to them. May each one enjoy the peculiar concentrated presence of thine. Father, let your presence mock anything that mocks them. Any man that mocks them. Any problem that mocks them. Any situation that mocks them. Any enemy that mocks them. Any neighbor that mocks them shall not be mocked. <laughs> Father, let no one forget who he is. <laughs> let them know they are children of heaven. Let them know they are children of your redeemed family. And that each one's name is written in the book of life. And heaven is ready to send an army to fight for each one. Amen. Defend your people. Fight for them. Father, be their guide and their guard. It shall be so. Father, grant them favor despite mistakes. Amen. 